All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Tuesday morning. It is so beautiful. May the Lord bless each and every one of you in the name of Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus the Messiah. Some interesting things to go over today. As usual, if we can get this stream up to, if we can get this stream up to 500 likes, then I absolutely will. Do a Bitcoin giveaway at the end of the stream, 0 0.025 Bitcoin. Let's see if we can get there. Some interesting things to go over today. Bitcoin's next big move. Allow us to speak about it. All right, y'all, let's get right into this. This is going to be a quick technical analysis update today. So some interesting things have happened this morning. Uh, I woke up and I saw this right here. Uh, in fact, it's quite interesting. It is quite interesting. This morning, the first thing I see when I wake up is Bitcoin is printing a bearish divergence as it's coming right into a golden pocket zone. This was about at 5.13 a.m. when I saw this. Literally, I wake up in the morning, and I try not to check Bitcoin first thing. But this morning, I checked Bitcoin first thing. I saw this massive bearish divergence right here on the 15-minute. I'm like, man, this is crazy. Uh, took the short. It was a super awesome short. Super awesome short from uh, up top right here down to this area. Now, why did I take the short? Well, if we just pull a fib from this swing high to this swing low right here we can see that um, we're coming up right into the golden pocket right here right into the golden pocket and when we come down to our 12 minute time frame we can see very clearly that we have a bearish divergence where the price has come up and the momentum waves have come down not only have the momentum waves come down but we also see the VWAP put in a lower high and so to me that was extremely bearish and so I took the short and it was a good move it was a really good move and really in this video I want to talk about how to find these moves because if we zoom out on Bitcoin and we zoom out we can see that you know things have been very sideways right in the moment it seems so crazy dumping and pumping pumping and dumping and dumping and pumping and it can take your breath away, my goodness. <gasps> but if we zoom out, we can see, nah, you know what? We haven't really been trading too much, too much volatility here. I mean, we're really consolidating right here. And so if we want to find those good moves, we need to use the right tools. We need to use the right tools. And for me, that tool is Market Cipher. Discount in the description of the video, 10% off. And also just using basic support and resistance, guys. It's People, a lot of people overcomplicate it, make it harder than it has to be. Basic support and resistance, market cipher, right here, 
perfect example of this awesome short trade. And then, would you believe this? We also got a long off the bottom here. And this was one of the potential trade setups that I posted in the Discord here. The riskiest one. But the reason why... I was contemplating entering this long, given the certain confirmations, which was higher highs printing on the lower time frames as the 12 to 24 minute were printing a bottom. We also had come right down into another golden ratio on the um, Fibonacci. So for this one, uh, I took from this swing low to this swing high right here. And look at that. We come right down into the golden ratio, the golden pocket and get a move to the upside, a nice move to the upside. And that trade is, um, you know, I didn't hit the second take profit. It's very close. I took take profit two right here. I'm just going to let the rest ride, and I moved the stop loss up to the entry. But so far today, two pretty nice trades. Pretty nice. Pretty dang nice trades. Two. Just by using a, a little Fibonacci. You know what? When I, when I use my Fib... You know what it's like? Oh, man. You guys remember this? Yeah. This is how I use Fib. This is how I use Fibonacci right here, like this guy. I just sprinkle it on, right? Just sprinkle on a little Fib here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is, the, uh, this is the prime rib over here. This looks like a prime rib, right? Yeah, totally. And, you know, I just sprinkle some Fib on here. Just sprinkle some Fib here and there. And uh, sprinkle a little market cipher in there. And uh, it, it tends to work out pretty well. So a few things I want to I point out because I think Bitcoin is consolidating in a, an interesting pattern here. We've got this going on. We've got this thing going on. Okay. We've got this triangle thing. It looks like Bitcoin is consolidating in some type of triangle right here. And uh, really now we might be able to move this line up just a, just a smidgen there because we wicked down to it. Um, and so right now we can kind of see that we're consolidating within this, this triangle pattern. So this can give us a framework from which we can look for trades as long as we consolidate in here. Obviously, eventually we're going to break out of this pattern. And if we take just standard technical an analysis, right, just basic TA, and we draw a little trend line from here to here, and then we drag that baby up, right, once we come to the apex. I mean, really, if we break up from this triangle, we could be looking around 40K. And if we break down from this triangle, well, we could be looking at, let's check out the projection. We could be looking back at around 29K. And to be honest with you guys, if we're coming back down to 29K, um, you know, this is obviously the low of the range right here that we've been trading, the lowest low of the range. Um... I think that's that would be quite bearish in my mind. However, until we lose the low of like 28 point something, we're technically still in the same old Bitcoin range that we've been trading in since, uh, you know, the, the the middle of May. The middle of May. Um, it would be actually quite nice to break up out of this triangle. Let's take a look at a few different indications to see whether or not we're going to break up and down. But before we do that, guys, I did... Uh, you know, if, if you want to learn all this stuff, if you want to learn Fibonacci, you want to learn support and resistance, how to find these trades, trading within a triangle instead of just waiting for the breakout, check out jasoncaspertrading.com. I just updated the course with some fresh new content talking about just this, how to trade pivots within a triangle without waiting for it to come to the trend line, without waiting for a breakout, how to catch a move like this one right here where we're, we're clearly trading along a trend line. Uh, two trend lines, right? We have two touches. We have touch one, touch two, touch three of the bottom trend line. We have touch one, touch two of the top trend line. Probably if people had noticed this, we'd be waiting for the trend line to short. But, you know, if we use Fibonacci, we can we can short before we get to the trend line if we see a good move, a good uh, confirmation there. Check it out. There's a discount to this course in the description of the stream. This will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a confident, profitable trader to find those good entries. Check out the testimonials here. People have increased their knowledge tenfold, and it's changed the way people trade. We go through everything you need to know, assuming you've never even looked at a chart before. 
go through market cipher in extreme detail, talk about scalping, swing trading, stop losses, take profits, creating a strategy, mindset, risk management, all that. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Okay. So, here we are. We're in a range. We're in a triangle. And, you know, interestingly enough, guys, we keep finding ourselves running up against this blue line right here. This blue line of support and resistance is extremely important, I've noticed, uh, because for the past number of weeks, since the 21th of June, this has been acting as a very strong level of support and resistance. Actually, before the 21th of June, even going all the way back to the 31th of May, um, even before that, actually, going back to the 24th of May, this blue line has been acting as a very strong level of support and resistance, and I think it's something we need to keep our eyes on. So if we go to the weekly time frame, hang, hang on, let me turn off some of these levels here. Let me turn off some of these fibs. Um, let me turn off some of the fibs. Let me turn off a whole bunch of stuff. Let's keep this chart clean, guys. Let's keep this chart clean. Let's go to the weekly time frame. And uh, let's pull out a, our good friend FIB retracement tool. And we're going to take it from the dump of March 2020 to the all-time high. And we're going to double-click our FIB. And if anybody doesn't know how to change their FIB to make it look like different and have only a few lines on it or whatever, you come in here. And uh, you can click these checkboxes on and off, right, to change different levels. You can also put the price on it, which I like to do. So that you can see, like, uh, if you pull a fib, it'll actually tell you the price that the fib levels are on, which is nice. It's nice. So, anyway, you can see that this 0.5 fib level from the March 2020 dump to the all-time high has been acting as an extremely important level of support. Ever since the massive dump where Elon Musk came out of the closet with his cell phone and turned on the Twitter app and sent a little tweet down, okay, because if you remember, we were on the moon up here um, because the Earth is here. Okay, we were on the Earth right here. Launched up a SpaceX Tesla model rocket ship, okay, through the Van Halen radiation belts. Eddie Van Halen, RIP. We land on the moon, okay. And then he comes out again and, boom, back to the Earth. Now, once we've been on Earth, again, it's important to notice that this 0.5 fib level has been acting as extremely important support. We've been unable to close the weekly candle uh, below it. And for the past few weeks, we've been really flirting with this line, okay? This is a significant level. I think we can say that per potentially, perhaps, this could be considered the center point if we turn back on our... Um, our range kind of thing here. This to me is the center point of the range. I think if we're trading above this line, it's more likely that we're going to come up. And if we're trading primarily below this line, it's more likely that we're going to come down. And uh, we had been even looking at yesterday the possible idea that we're trading now in some kind of uh, channel like this, right? Some kind of uh, parallel channel where uh, we're actually sloping downwards. And we had like a little fake out. We had a, a little fake out, um, and right now, I think it's very important, actually, that if we want to see higher prices, that we need to break out of not only this triangle, but this this channel, which seems to be a descending channel right here. Um, it really does seem to be a descending channel. So this is this is an important uh, an important bit of consolidation that we have coming on right here. An important bit of consolidation that we have. Um, you know, like I was saying, if we if we can break up out of this, then we're going to see ourselves back up more toward the top of the range. And, and once we're up here, it makes a lot of sense we could continue on up to the, the resistance up here, which is the January all-time high. Between the January all-time high and the low of the February dump. Um, but, uh, you know, if we lose this, then it's likely that we will come back down... And, uh, you know, once once we're back down below this box right here, this blue box of support is very important because, again, we've been unable to close the daily candle below it. We've only been able to wick down a few times. So if we start closing, you know, daily candles below this box of support, honestly, even if we start closing four-hour candles below this box of support, that to me is, is extremely bearish. Bear. Bearish. Okay. 
Now, I don't mean to be a bit corn, a bear corn, a corn bear. I don't mean to be a corn bear over here, right? You know, I could be a, a, a moon corn, too. I could be a, a corn moon, a moon corn. You know, it's, it's possible that we could see Bitcoin go to the moon. It's possible. But um, for right now, I mean, look at, look at this. This is, this is an important uh, piece of support. If we look on the four-hour time frame right now, you know, it looks like the VWAP is pointing down, which would make me a little bit bearish here in the short term because the reason being, if we now print a red dot here and we come down and print a lower wave here and, and come up again and we keep printing the lower waves, it's very possible that this is actually the peak of the money flow on the four hour because the way we look at market cipher B is when we start to see the waves like we see here on the on the on the bearish side, once we start to see the waves moving upwards, um, it, it's it's showing us that the money flow, you know, is going to start to cross over. So now potentially we could be seeing the opposite, where now the money flow is going to start to cross under. And if we, you know, we put in a high, we put in a lower high. Is this a lower high? If this is a lower high, guys then we could really be reversing this uptrend. I think this is a, a make it or break it kind of moment right here <clears throat> as, far, as far as the macro things go. If we go to the two hour and take a look at market cipher, you know, it's a little hard to read, right? The, the, the signal this morning are a little bit hard to read because we printed the red dot on the two hour, but then we got to move to the upside and now it looks like we might even be printing a little green dot here come to the one hour and uh, it looks like we might in fact print a green dot in fact I think we were printing a green dot for a while here before we got a little rejection off this resistance but the money flow on the one hour the money flow on the 50 minute you know it's not looking that great right we just had the money flow cross under the 24 minute um, we can see money flow still coming down right if we take our trend line and we just draw it from here we can see the money flow coming down. Uh, we're printing a red dot right now on the 24 minute below the zero line. Things are a little bit indecisive right now. If you're not currently in a trade, if you're not currently long or short and in profit, personally, I would not be, I doesn't, I'm not saying what you should do because this is not financial advice. This is only entertainment. I'm an entertainer on the YouTube. Uh, you know, this is just entertainment. If you think this is financial advice, you're mistaken, right? If, if, if for any reason you think this is financial advice and you take this as financial advice, you will lose all your Bitcoin, all your Ethereum. Um, your best friend will stop talking to you and you'll stub your toe. It won't be a fun time. It won't be a fun time, okay? Um, let me come into the chat real quick, guys. Guys, make sure to like the video. We got we got about 250 peeps up in here, only about 36 likes. Um, <laughs> uh, Alchemist is cheating on Tom Crown right now up in the up in the chat. Shout out to Crypto Yacht, Crypto Yacht in the chat. Uh, Kevin McAloon McAloon says, "Looks like we're gonna break up." You know. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe we break up. I, I really don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Um, I honestly do not know. I think the best way to play this right now, although it does look bullish, right? It looks bullish on the, on the daily time frame. I'm not going to lie. It looks super bullish. Okay. It looks super bullish. Speaking of Tom Crown, you know, I'm pretty sure he's bullish, right? Isn't he bullish? I don't know. I forget. But, um, right, it looks like momentum's coming up as we're just consolidating right here. You know, it looks like what happened back in the summer of 2021 where we consolidated and traded sideways right here as momentum was coming up. And then we got a huge pump, right? That's kind of like what it looks like. Do you guys remember the summer of 2021 when we consolidated right here as momentum was coming up and then we got a huge pump? It kind of looks like that on the daily, doesn't it? It looks like that in the daily. We're consolidating, uh, trading sideways, momentum is coming up. It does kind of look like we're primed to have a move to the upside. Personally, I'm just taking it level to level, y'all. I'm just taking it level to level. And um, 
that's how that's how I'm gonna roll with it. But you know, in, in the immediate short term here, we've got this triangle going on. And as long as we have this triangle going on, you know, this is something that we can trade uh, the, by pulling out our fib, by pulling out our fib, right? That's how we get the, uh, that's how we got the short this morning, and even that's how we got the long. And, um, you know, if you see that we come back down to the bottom of this triangle, you know, definitely, I, I will be looking for longs down in this area. I have levels marked out in the Discord of, of places that I'm looking to long if we come back down here. And, uh, you know, if we come back up to the top of this uh, this triangle here, then I will obviously will be kind of looking for shorts. In fact, if we turn on the FIB, the, um, you know, the 786 right here, it's possible, depending on how fast price moves, but if we come up here and like wick up and then wick down, you know, this is some nice confluence up here. We have the 786 fib level and we've got this trend line right here. And then, um, you know, on the downside, we also have, if we, uh, if we take out this fibinator and pull it right here, you know, again, we have that confluence depending on how long it takes us to come down, where we've got a fib level and the trend line right there. So, you know, maybe we will consolidate in here for a bit. Let's let's take a look and see, you know, if we say that we start trading in this thing, I don't know, right here. Um, we've been trading in this thing now for about a week. We've been trading in this thing for about a week, about seven days. Um, so let's say... 10 days, yeah, I mean, really, any time now, today, tomorrow, we could see the breakout, because they say when you're at the last 24% of the triangle, the apex, the apex of the triangle, you know, I kind of like that word, apex, apex, just sprinkle a little fib on there, guys, sprinkle a little fib, uh, check out jasoncaspertrading.com, check out, check out Market Cypher. And uh, yeah, let's let's pop into the chat real quick here, and see what's going on. I want to say I want to say hey to all my peeps, my loyal peeps. You know, we have a smaller crowd these days now that Bitcoin is not as popular. Um, so Journey wants to know, could it go back down to the twenty thousands? Of course it could. Of course it could. Um, yeah, of course it could. You know. Lucas Buta says, wick up, then wick down, then wike off. Okay, the new KYC requirements on Bybit. Honestly, uh, DCF wants to know. I, I, I haven't checked my email. I haven't gotten the email. I probably have gotten the email, but I haven't seen it yet, right? Because I, I, it takes me a while to check my emails. I need to look into that. And if that's true, that they're going to require KYC, then I'm going to have to dip out of that. You know, because I, I can't let people know who I am, right? I don't even show my face on here. I don't even show my face on here. How am I, how am I going to, uh, you know, how am I going to let Bybit know who I am? You know what I'm saying? I like exchanges, those shady, those shady exchanges, the kind that don't care who you are, the kind that will give you a hundred times more money than you actually have. That, that's what I like. That's what I like. I don't like this whole accountability thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like when you go to the bank, you try and withdraw some money. They treat you like a criminal withdrawing money from your own bank account. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. For, for as long as possible, I am going to uh, avoid that until it's no longer avoidable. Yeah, Beardy Day Crypto, my face is on my original videos, that's true, you're right. I'm, I'm half joking, I'm half joking. What's going on, Seed Hunt? I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, yeah, I'll be making some more videos, guys. I'll be making some more good videos, bringing, bringing the juice. Dang, confirmed KYC in July. 
Um, Pirate Chain. Yeah, I got Pirate Chain, Pirate Chain, and Monero. Um, Pirate Chain and Monero. Those those are two coins that I enjoy. Crypto Yacht says, I could be Donald Trump with a voice changer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably could be him, you know? I probably could be him. Yeah. Well, guys, I really just wanted to do a quick update today because I've got uh, I've got some very important farm things to do. But Duramax says, um, you know, it looks like we're gonna crash. And uh, Jack Streff says, yes, privacy coins the future. Yeah, I mean, the truth is, guys, if we want crypto to be what crypto is supposed to be, then that's you know, pirate chain Monero. That's what you have to. That's what you're gonna have to use, guys. That's what we're going to have to use. Um, and Beardy Day Crypto is, is correct, right? We're going to see the R word uh, coming to all of these types of people, you know? Chase Julian wants to know, what is KYC? Um, it's, um, they sell chicken. They sell chicken. Look at that. And the problem, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So it stands for know your customer where basically you have to fill out like your address and all this. And the problem is technically in the, in certain areas, you're not allowed to leverage trade there. And so, you know, Binance used to be, you could, you could trade on Binance much more easily than you can now um, in certain areas that don't allow uh, leverage trading. And, um, you know, nowadays with Bybit, it seems like they're going to start doing the same thing because right now Bybit, we, we all know it. It's like, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't trade in the U.S. J.K. Just put on your VPN once, and then like you can log in there with no VPN after that, right? It's a joke. It's a joke. We all get it. We all get the joke. It's so funny, right? We get the joke. We understand. But you know, they might be changing. They might be uh, being becoming serious now. Um, shout out to Jeff Worship One who has over 90k in his portfolio with the help of registered broker called Mr. Albert. Man, Jeff Worship One. <laughs> I can't tell if you're trolling or if you're a spammer. I hope you're just trolling. Um, um, KuCoin, I'm not a big fan of KuCoin, Tony Bento. I'm really not. I, I find it to be shallow and pedantic. Let's see. Let's see what else. Money for the people. Bitcoin stuck below the moving averages and bear flag. Yeah, you know, I mean, the the truth of the matter is, guys. The truth of the matter. I mean, you could call this a bear flag. You could. I I don't know if I would call it a bear flag. I would say if it's true, if it's true that we do have something like this going on, if it's true that we if, that we got something like this going on, that's bearish. That I mean, that really is right because even though we're in a channel, it's uh, it's uh, doing the lower lows and lower highs. But remember, technically, well, I shouldn't say technically, but honestly, a bear flag should be more like this, right? I'd say we were in a bear flag. Now we kind of broke down under that bear flag, and now we're, we're, who knows what we're even doing. We're in another, you could even actually look at this like we're in two, two parallel ascending channels, right? Uh, I just kind of noticed this, right? We had this one channel that we broke down out of, and now we're trading in this other parallel channel right here that, um, Okay, Ethereum's giving us a red dot right now on the one hour. Let's take a look. Sorry about the loud noise, guys. Okay, so so Ethereum changed changed her mind about the green dot. Ethereum is like green dot, red dot. Playing the game of green dot, red dot, uh, and it looks like you know we got a lower high on both the momentum and the price. Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the one hour. You know, it looks like we may come down more here. And if we do, you know, I've got those levels I'm looking to long. I've got the levels I'm looking to long. And you know what, guys? I don't eat fast food. 
I don't. I don't. I will not subju subjugate my body to that. Okay. This is the food they want you to eat. It's the food they want you to eat, but it does look tasty. But we all know it doesn't really look like that when you get it, right? It doesn't really look like this. We know that. We know that. Okay. Let's see if we can get a, a real picture of KFC. Yeah. I can't find one. I can't really find one. All right. But, um, I... I <laughs> Yeah, this is quality cryptocurrency content, guys. You are not going to find this on any other channel. Look at this guy. is so jacked. All right, this is the Colonel Sanders. He is shredded, this dude. It's because he eats chicken all day, and it's got lots of protein in it. It's got lots of protein. Let's, let's drop back into the chat now, see what's going on. Um, whoa, my laptop's about to die, guys. Did you see that? Did you see that? Here, let me, let me plug this baby in real quick. Let me plug this puppy in. Whew, man, it's a good thing I caught that. It's a good thing I caught that. Red dot four hour Bitcoin. Um, right, he doesn't do push ups, he pushes the earth down, says Beardy Day Crypto. Yeah, okay, DCF hard dump incoming, incoming along with the stock market. Very possible. You know, I'm, I'm personally, I'm, I, wow, look at this, look at this red dot now on the four hour. We had this printing a while ago before this little pump here. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still short and I, I think I have my stop loss at the entry for this last long here. Um, yeah, I moved my stop loss up to the entry for this little thing here. This, this, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm stopped out. I'm stopped out of that long. I'm no longer in it. But you know what? It wasn't a bad move. It wasn't a bad move. Got a nice short, got a nice long. A nice short and a nice long. Um, my favorite guitarist. Oh, man. Honestly, I, I don't know. Like what, what, what genre of music are you talking about? Three Hour Blood Diamond. Uh, Sheba, I don't know much about Sheba. What do you suggest after making a bad trade? Andrew Kennedy wants to know. After making a bad trade... What you have to do is you need to go outside into nature. You need to look at the creation. You need to you need to reorient yourself. Do something that's different than uh, trading. Don't look at the charts. Go out, play with the chickens. Right, go on a walk. Go pet the goats. And uh, don't think about Bitcoin for the rest of the day. That's what you got to do. So. Money for the people wants to know what apostle, what was the apostle Paul's thorn in the flesh? That's a good question, man. You know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Some people think it was his eye problem, but but who knows, man? It's one of those questions, you know, one of those biblical questions. It's hard to find answers. Like, who was Cain's wife? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so CC Aputa wants to know my favorite rock guitarist would have to be Randy Rhodes, man. I have to be honest. Randy Rhodes, you know, back in the day, he really influenced me. But uh, you know what? Being in the rock, being a rock and roller, it led me down a bad path in life. Led me down a bad path in life, guys. Where I uh, got into some bad, bad places, made some bad choices. So thank God for his his mercy. Blood oh Andrew Carter says Blood Diamond on the daily Binance chart. Let's check it out. Blood Diamond on the daily Binance chart. Well, you know what? I don't feel like pulling up the Binance chart, but let's put on let's put on Mark Saver A on the on the bit buy bit chart which we will not be using i guess after july unfortunately i guess femex maybe still doesn't allow it you know what i hate regulation guys i hate regulation so much in my heart in my heart i uh i i shall not wax political on this channel but i'm sure most of us who are into crypto share the same views on these types of things otherwise we wouldn't be into crypto 
I have 21 chickens, guys. 21 chickens. Um, yeah, go play with the chickens, guys. Yes, I was in a boy band with Carl from the Moon. Uh, let's see. I was in a boy band with Carl from the Moon. Um, this was our this was our, our our promo picture that we had for our group. We were called um, Casper and the Moonies. We were called Casper and the Moonies. Uh, you know, but but I was too shy. I was too shy to show my face on stage. So um, because I was too shy, let's see. Oh man, I forget Carl's name. I think I, I think I subscribed to him, right? Did I subscribe to him? Yeah, yeah. So when we played shows, I never um I never showed my face. I was in the background here. That that was me. You you guys heard the harmony vocals in the background? That that was me. That's me there. You hear my harmony? I, I, I see I, I got a nice voice people don't know people don't know also that's my SG that's my SG that Carl has I let him borrow it um, oh you can still withdraw two Bitcoin without KYC well that's not very much is it and I don't like to leave my profits chilling and buy a bit too long Uh, Jeff Swim, I'm gonna have to do that soon. Honestly, like I'm, I'm gonna have to do that soon. I'm, I'm gonna have to look into that today. Uh, shout out to Dragos who says I'm talented. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, Blood Diamond on the one minute. Oh, for that track, <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, okay, Radu, thank, thank you for clarifying about the Blood Diamond. Yeah, I don't like to leave my profits locked up in Bybit. So, like, I have, like, an account size that I use when I trade, and I take the profit out. Like, I'm not, I'm not growing my account on Bybit. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm taking the profit out, and I have a fixed amount that I use. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not really looking to, to, um, Scott Stevens asks a question, and I have to, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, you're not allowed to talk about that on the internet, guys. You're not allowed to talk about that on the internet. But, uh, but Scott Stevens, you know, all I can say is, hell no. And I mean that sincerely. You know I'm a Christian man, so I try to keep my, I try to keep my language, you know, G rated, but I have to I have to wax PG for that one. I have to wax PG for that one. Whoop. Okay. Let's see. Beardy Day Crypto wants to know, will I have to go back to working in a coffee shop if the market tanks? Um No, 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 I won't. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. You gotta diversify your income streams. And I'm not living off my HODL portfolio. I'm not living off my HODL portfolio. I don't, no one should be living off their HODL portfolio. HODLing is for like long term, right? So like I'm HODLing Bitcoin. Yeah, my account's down 50% from what it was back in um, April. But I don't care. I still think Bitcoin's going to go in the six digits eventually. And uh, you know what I also do is I take profit out along the way of my HODL portfolio. But, you know, if we're trading here, if we're trading, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter what happens to Bitcoin, guys. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you have stable coin, you know, if things really start to crash into the 20Ks and below, you know, we can still, we can still do pretty well. It doesn't really matter. That's the thing. That's what's great about trading versus investing. If you're investing and you're hodling Bitcoin, well, I mean, if you're trying to live off of that, then you're, it's, it's never going to be a good time for you. Never. It'll be great for like a while, maybe like once every two, three years for a few months. 
you'll have an awesome time. You know, you'll be buying Lambos, going on cruises with your wife, getting her pregnant, coming home, having a kid. Okay? Did that happen to me? Maybe. But then, you know, eventually... <laughs> TMI, I'm sorry, guys. Eventually, you know, that, that bull run is going to run, and you're going to have to trade in your Lambo for one of those uh, Fisher-Price um, little toy cars, right? Uh, no, nah, that's not the one. I, is, is, I think it's Little Tykes, right? Little Tykes. I'm sure all you parents out there know what I'm talking about. This thing, right? My daughter has one of these things. She loves it. She loves it. And we also put our chickens in here, too, and we drive around with the chickens. It's a fun time, guys. It's a fun time. All right. But, um, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. You know, uh, I have no idea, actually, what, uh, what Bitcoin's even doing. But I'm stopped out of that long. And I'm still in this short. And I'm still in a long. I'm still in a long from. Um, I'm in a long from down here at about uh, 29k, give or take. But guys, I actually just realized the time. I'm gonna have to cut this stream right now. Um, I have to cut the stream, guys. I have some. I have some responsibilities to attain to. But I do pray that the Lord blesses all of you. And uh, that he reveals himself to each one of you in a personal way. And, um, yeah. You know, there's so much more to life than trading crypto. So much more. So never lose sight of that, guys. And uh, I will see all of you in the next stream. Peace. Oh, and make sure to like the video. Yeah, like the video, guys. Like the video. Help out those algos.